So I kind of wanted to talk about something today. I kind of wanted to talk about something. I was thinking about it for a while. Um, so I'm sure most of you guys here are Japanese learners. You, you probably learned some Japanese here and there. And you would always just find methods of, of, of cheating the system. I see you guys trying to find your shortcuts way through kanji and stuff. It exists. It exists. And I think most people, what they find is they'll find an app. They'll find a Japanese learning app on the iPhone or on the Apple Store or wherever you get it. And I think the number one thing that comes up is Hello Talk. Anyone ever use Hello Talk in chat? Press 1 in chat if you know what it is. Press 2 if you've actually ever used HelloTalk. I'm a tour. I'm a tour in this situation. So if you don't know what a HelloTalk is, HelloTalk is basically a Japanese learning app. You you match with other people and you talk to them. And me personally, I used it maybe like five, six years ago. I was using it when I was 22, when I was in college. I needed a way to talk to more, you know, Japanese uh, Japanese people and I, I think I think hello talk does something really good where you get to talk to real people and they get to help you learn more words and help you uh, become more natural in speaking Japanese with other people and hello talk is not exclusively Jap learning Japanese it's also for other languages if you want to learn Chinese you can match it with Chinese people if you want to learn um, English, you match up with, you know, people from the US, Australia, whatever. It's a pretty good app. I, I personally like it, but there's a lot of people on that app that use it in, in different ways. And when I mean different, not in not very good ways. People actually use HelloTalk as a dating app. Yeah, it's true. It's weird. People actually use it as a dating app. Me, I have my own stories. I was just, I was just an innocent boy trying to learn Japanese and this 30 year old housewife hits me up and she would just like message me every day and there's a there's a function on on the app where you can uh, fix people's sentences and I will just constantly fix this, this woman's her grammar every single time she would just message me it, just, it was a pain in the ass but I did it for her and uh, she just hits me up with a weird message out of the blue saying that I'm really close to where you're at in Niigata Prefecture can you do you want to meet up with me i'm a uh, and then she like drops all this information at me she then she then notifies me that she is married and has kids and she isn't happy in her relationship and wants to meet me M me at the time i was i was already taken i i was with i was taken i was not single i didn't want to meet this old lady randomly on on the app and it kind of freaked me out i'm not going to lie it kind of freaked me out I'm not. What do you mean I'm flexing? How am I a milf hunter? It just happened. It just happened. I just turned her. I just. I don't remember if I turned her down. I just. I just stopped talking to her. But I, it's not. I'm not a milf hunter. I promise you. I was. I was 22. I was 22, and she was like 30. I. That was. I was not interested in that. Anyways. <laughs> I'm a home wrecker. I'm not a home wrecker. I promise you. But it's. It's actually kind of a, a very normal thing. And I kind of wanted to invite someone. Kind of wanted to invite someone on stream. And her name is Micah Mochi because she has a lot of weird stories about using HelloTalk. You guys know who, you guys know who Micah Mochi is, yeah? So, yeah, just people use it as a dating app. And it's actually not supposed to be used for dating, but a lot of people do. It's kind of crazy how, how much stories I hear about just people like, you know, actually like matching with other people on the app and actually like eventually getting married and stuff. It's actually kind of, it's weird, but they, they don't really condone that. They're not supposed, like the HelloTalk app don't really want people to do that, but I guess people do. You know, come to think about it, I don't think I've ever had a guy message me on HelloTalk, ever. Or maybe like I had it one time, but it was them trying to sell something or promote their music or something. It was weird. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> Yo, hello. Can hello. you hear? Me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can How's you hear how me? does how does my emoji sound in chat, guys? Is is it? Does it sound good? Does she sound Am great? Good? Just bring I up. Get nervous <laughs> coming on your stream. Today. Why do you get Why do you get nervous? Can you get some Can you get some purple hearts in chat for Micah? Don't make Don't Don't make her nervous. Purple hearts in chat for Micah emoji. Okay. 
It's kind of weird. I'm the how I'm the only one typing. <laughs> wow, that's weird. Maybe maybe everyone else should do it. You know, just purple hearts. There we go. It's yeah. awkward when you're like, do this in chat, guys, and no. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no, one, no one does it. It's so awkward. I know. It's just only me. <clears throat> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Wait, so Mike and Mochi, uh, introduce yourself real quick. What are you? Hello. What do you do? Um, what do you want to be? Hi, I'm Mike and Mochi, and I want to be Pulse JP when I grow up. Um, no, uh, I do karaoke streams mostly, but I also do. You gotta Cosmo. be. You gotta be my height to uh, become me first. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll just wear some heels or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty big, pretty big heels. Pretty big heels. Yeah, like stripper heels, you know. Yeah, pretty pretty big ones. Um, but yeah, that's <laughs> me. I speak I speak three languages. Mm -hmm. I want to learn all the languages. Maybe someday I will. Suki no tabemono wa. Atashi no suki no tabemono wa katsudon desu. Katsudon? I had katsudon for lunch today. I hate you. So <laughs> <jealous of> you. <laughs> Wait, so I kind of wanted to ask. I kind of like was talking about Hell Talk one time randomly, and you told me that you had some crazy stories. I um, do. What are some crazy stories about Hell Talk? How how was your experience in Hell Talk? Hell Talk has been kind of rough, low key. So I guess when I first started, well, the reason I started Hell Talk was because my Japanese teacher was like, before you go to Japan, you need speaking practice like bad yeah so she basically said was like your japanese speaking just sucks booty hole and so she gave me like a bunch of app recommendations but i used hello talk and so i signed up for it and i got on it and like it looked pretty cool like from the outside in people were posting about things people were making little diary entries like it was really cool the concept is really cool but then I started getting messages from people and it was only <laughs> ever it was only ever dudes um i rarely got messages from girls yeah yeah uh, i've never got messages from guys either or yeah no, like, yeah never had like the same yeah, yeah never yeah. happened unless they were trying to like promote something it was weird see the like i would try to message girls mm. because i wanted more girlfriends and then they would just leave me on red and like not talk to me at all it says pulse how many accounts did you make to message mike <laughs> <laughs> well, of course yeah that's me me how how long ago was this when you made the new account uh this was what two years ago now two years ago two okay, years ago, okay. Two, three years ago yeah i, but... I, I like, like before before you, we talk about the negative parts about hello talk like there were some good like tools on on the app it was yeah, really yeah, yeah it was pretty good because like like the way you can like uh, edit people's messages and like give them like little notes for what they messed up on or or let them know if something was not natural or if they're being weird about uh, on the way they, you know, structure their sentences. Like it was a yeah, pretty yeah, good it was yeah. a pretty good app that way and I like I actually like the the diary feature too. Which was yeah, yeah, which I is like a good read, a yeah. Well, and then that's actually where I met Shinji, so something good came out of it too. But Wait, you met know. Shinji on Hello Talk? Yeah, yeah, I told you that. Like, it's embarrassing to say, like, yeah, we were language partners, but he was the only non-weird dude that I talked to, and we ended up exchanging lines, and then we started talking online and sending like little, like, like oh. I would be like walking to school, and I'd be like. Hey, walking to school. This is what a university looks like in America. <clears throat> like little videos. I totally forgot that. Started... Wait, I forgot. I forgot you met Shinji that way. So if you don't yeah, know who yeah, Shinji yeah. is, it's a uh, soon-to-be husband of of Mike Mochi, right? Mr. Mike Mochi. Mi Mr. Mike Mochi. <laughs> I didn't know you guys met on Hello Talk. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because then he ended up um, coming to see me in Hirakata when I studied abroad, and then. That's when we actually started like dating, though. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, we never, we never wanted to be like, let's date over. Hello right, right, right. You just wanted to just meet up. Yeah, yeah. Just meet up me casually, up. and then things kind of picked up afterwards. Yeah, because he baked me a kokuhaku pie. That's so cute. Well, I didn't. Okay. Well, I, I didn't know it was Hello Talk. I thought it was something else. But yeah, let's uh, let's go, let's go into it. The 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 dirty the dirty parts of Hello Talk. All right. So obviously, <laughs> I had posted on there about like, like I'm gonna study abroad in Japan. So like, let's talk and like, let's be friends. 
And I was super excited. Like I went into the super gung ho because I was like, I get to talk to people and practice. And the first, one of the first messages I got was from this guy. His name was Daichi. I remember this like it was yesterday. <laughs> Daichi, <laughs> good old Daichi. Daichi, and <laughs> he, like, he started out normal. Like he was like, "Hi, how are you?" Like I'm Daichi, and I was like, "Oh, hi, I'm Micah. How are you?" And like it was normal conversation. Like, how long have you studied English? How long have you studied Japanese? You know, like, oh, are you in school kind of thing? And it was like, it went on for like a couple days. And then he said, I saw you're coming to Japan. And I said, yeah, I'm really excited. I'll be there in January. And this was back in like, I don't know, October or like September, October. <clears throat> so how do, wait, how do you before. know, how do you know you were going to Japan with your, uh, your, your blog thing or like your journal that you can post? Yeah. Yeah. Like with okay. the moments that you can post. I right, 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 right. Like, because I had just gotten, no, it was probably in like November then, because I had just gotten accepted to um, study abroad at Kansai Gaidai. Mm. And so I knew for sure, like I was going and he messaged me and was like, so I see you're going to Japan. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. And he's like, where are you going to go? And I was like, oh, I'll be in Osaka. And he was like, oh, do you plan on coming to Nagoya? Because that's where I'm from. And I was like, um, I don't know, maybe like if I have time and then out of nowhere, he goes, well, would you need a place to stay? Smooth, Daichi. I was like, I don't know, like if I went, I would probably just like, I don't know, go with a friend or something like maybe, you know, and he's like, well, if you send me a picture of like your old boy, I also give you a place to stay. And you can stay with me, and we can sleep together in my bed. And I was like, uh, I, uh, no thank you. And then I blocked you. <laughs> he said, if I see a picture of your opai, we can sleep together. Yes. That is such... Give me a place to stay. That is crazy. I was just like, how bold of you. <laughs> <Don't> fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a, actually a block. That is insane. <laughs> You know, that is the, like, most mild interaction I've had on there, though. They He's get so generous. <laughs> He's actually really generous. Yeah, you're right. Boomchan's what right. What a gentleman. What a gentleman, <laughs> Daichi. Holy crap. But that, that's, like, the type of shit that you'll see on Tinder. Because, like, people, yeah. on Tinder, people on Tinder are really thirsty, even in Japan. Um, but, I like, it's something that you don't really expect on a learning app, right? <laughs> well, and this was back when on Hello Talk, because now you can like click on people's profile pictures, like zoom in and stuff. Yeah. But back then you couldn't because they were really adamant about like this is not a dating app. Yeah, and yeah, now yeah. I think they've what? probably just given up. <laughs> Wait, have they given up? Because I, I do, I do remember that feature. Like you can't like zoom in people's profile pictures. Oh yeah, you can have zoom they... in on people's profile pictures now. Now you can. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They actually gave up. They're yeah, they're I'm really sure. strict on that whole thing. Well, because I remember that like a message used to pop up too. Like, mm -hmm. like don't don't like, like this don't is not a dating. Pictures. Don't send your line. Like there are stuff. Yeah, there. yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that like, stuff like that. But yeah. now there's not. Now it just um, the report feature's gotten better. I will say that. <laughs> okay. I learned that the other day. Um, but yeah, that was that guy was my first kind of like weirdo. Yeah. But they just get weirder and weirder. And All so, right. Well, like, what's after... the next one after Daichi? Who's next? Um, this one's kind of short, but this dude messaged me just very bluntly and he was like, hi, how are you? And I was like, oh, I'm good. How are you? And he's like, I'm studying to be, a, I want to be a CEO. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. Like, that's a big ambition, dude. Like, you know, go for it. And he's like, that's why I want to learn English. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, what do you, like, what do you want to be? And I was like, I don't know. And I like jokingly was like, I just want to be like a housewife or something. And he goes, uh. well, when I'm a CEO, you can be my housewife and you can have my babies and I'll just be the CEO for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay what's his name what I is like, his i wonder what was his name <laughs> i don't remember his sounds name like guys. sounds like a hiroyuki his, his name is hiroyuki that's what he sounds like See, i was thinking more like a ryochi or something ryochi okay ryochi works too and classic just, ryochi <laughs> i was like oh uh because we were t actually talking on the phone when he said that wait and calling you guys are voice calling yeah 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 he messaged me, <laughs> how are you and, and then we started calling and then wait that's crazy how you actually said phone. yes to him calling well, because I was like, you just wanted you know, to learn. practice. Yeah. I just want to practice. <laughs> and that wasn't good practice at all. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. You know, I could have I could have married a CEO. Yeah, you could have. You could have. 
I could have been in Japan with four children right now. Yeah, you're right. Being a housewife. Mike, 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 Mochi, the housewife. I wouldn't be streaming. Yeah, you wouldn't be you, streaming. We never met. I wouldn't have done what I've done now. Uh, who knows? Um, the The relationship might have been uh, sour, and you might have messaged a 22 year old kid in college on Hello <laughs> Hello Talk a few years uh, down the line. Who knows? You don't know. <laughs> I could have messaged um, past yeah. post JP. Yeah, po past post JP. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> that is like, so. I'm totally happy. Come meet up with me. <laughs> yeah. So many weird people. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of crazy how he set that like five messages in. It's just hilarious. And then was like, "Come have my babies, and mm. I'll be the CEO that'll financially take care of it." <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Is there um, is there another weird one? There are two more, mm. but I'm gonna save the worst one for last. So All right. This goes out of order. This one, this next one was recent. Um, I started learning Korean because my mom got COVID, so we were quarantined for two weeks. So I was bored, mm. <laughs> so I started to learn some Korean, and uh, I wanted to practice. So I changed my language on Hello Talk <clears throat> to Korean from Japanese because at this point I don't need to practice my Japanese. And um, I got a message from this dude, and again it started out like the normal, like "Hi, how are you?" And then he said, "I like." curvy cute girls and i was like um okay like i'm not and i like i try to like turn him off by being like i'm just fat you know like, I, you're I saying stuff like, like that <laughs> you might i don't know you might that might have actually got him like no fired but up it did though because he was like oh i like that too and i was like oh, i have a fiance i'm like i'm engaged and he goes and then he apologized like oh i'm so sorry and i was like oh no dude you're good like he probably genuinely didn't think i had a fiance no he goes no, I'm sorry to be so straightforward, but I'm sorry you have a fiance. And I was like, oh, uh, I'm not. And then he goes, I like big body and chest. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Oh, and man. Then he said, I want to be buried between chests. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I'm, I'm assuming he spoke to you in English. Like he, he wrote did. to you. Okay. That's so yeah. funny. Um,. So how, then, did you learn any Korean from that interaction? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't. Um, and then this last one was probably, like, this is the most serious one, mm -hmm. and it's actually, like, very scary. So um, when I was studying in Japan, I was still kind of sort of using the app to practice. Um, and then just, like, <clears throat> also meet new people. Like, I never went to meet people alone. I always went to meet people with a friend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or I would meet somebody not at my dorms, but in a place I knew that was going to be crowded. Yeah. Um, and so this guy named Goro messaged Goro? Me like, we yes, Goro. And like we were talking for like a good like week or two. So like he <laughs> never was weird during that. Mm. And um, we started to like video chat sometimes. They're like you know just like talk on the phone. And we were practicing. He was practicing English and. I was practicing uh, Japanese mm. and it was really cool. Like it was an actual like language partner type thing. And so then he was like, do you want to like meet up sometime? And he's like, I understand if you're not comfortable meeting up, but if you want to, cause we both live in Osaka. And I was like, yeah, sure. And mm. keep in mind, I never told, I never specifically said I was studying at Kansai Gaidai on my thing. I just said I was studying in Osaka. And, um, and I didn't even put where specifically in Osaka cause mm. I was nervous about that. Well, then I decided to meet up with him and it was like, it went okay. Like we ate some katsudon, went to karaoke and then like I left and I was like, okay, cool. And I didn't have him like take me home. Like I went home by myself. Right. And so then after like things started kind of getting weird and I kind of started thinking maybe he started to like me because he started just like saying like, you know, you're like, kind of like things like that. But like, Wait, in person when you met up with him? No, 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 no. Over like after after we met up. After you met up, you character. said you he started saying weird things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So like after after I went home that night, I texted him. I was like, "Thanks for hanging out with me. Like it was fun. Um, I appreciate it." And then he started like flirting with me, but I can't. I was still really new to like social culture in Japan. Right. If that makes sense. So I didn't mm. know, are you being nice to me? And like, you're calling me kawaii in kind of like an older brother type of way. Like, because I've had friends do that to me before where they're like, 
Kawaii isn't always flirting. And, yeah, yeah, uh, I, yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. And so I couldn't tell, like, was he saying stuff like that to me because he was trying to be like, you know, like, Oni-chan type, mm -hmm. like, kind of thing, or was he trying to flirt with me? And so, like, I made it a point to always talk about Shinji because at that point we were dating. Oh, okay. And I was always trying to, like, talk about Shinji and, like, talk about how great he was and, you know, like, just really make it obvious, like, I have a boyfriend type right. of energy. And then... Um, one day, Goro starts saying, do you want to hang out again? Do you want to hang out again? And I was like, no, like I really, you know, I'm kind of busy. And like part of it was like true because I was getting busy with schoolwork as the semester went on. Hmm. But then like he found me on Facebook and uh, like added me. And I was really freaked out because I was like, I don't have my like full name anywhere. Oh wait! So how, how do you, you find? How do you find your Facebook? I don't, I don't know. So through <laughs> Facebook, um, I had I had a Twitch account too, but I wasn't streaming. He right. found me on Twitch. He found me on Facebook. You found, he found me on, on Instagram. <laughs> and I was like freaking out at this point because I'm like, this guy like literally just found me like everything. And um and keep in mind at that point too my name wasn't even Micah Mochi on Twitch it was Bamanans so I don't know how the <laughs> fuck it was me um yeah who'd follow and, who'd actually follow someone with that name that's so weird hey hey <laughs> hey <laughs> hey hurtful so he um, found he found you but, somehow well how did that even happen yeah. And he starts messaging me and yeah. he starts messaging me like super sexual things and like it's like he's having a meltdown mm. about like his over his like sexual frustration over me and he's telling me like he's gonna come to my school he knows where i go to school and i'm like freaking out at this point because i'm like there's no way that you know but at the same time you found me on everything so i'm scared and like i block him on everything and then i never hear from him again oh, and like that's... i've never like since then he never i never saw him again but i was so scared to go out after that because like he lived in osaka too right and i was like what if we just i don't know just it would bump be my into each other randomly I would see you yeah <clears throat> and so i was super scared and he always would like whenever he would compliment me he would always be like you know, most Japanese guys like blonde hair, blue eyed girls, me included, but you're an exception type of thing. <laughs> and I'm like, me Bro, included. I'm so, I'm, so, oh. I'm so freaked out right now. And Shinji told me from the start, and I should have listened to Shinji, he told me from the start that he didn't like him. And I was like, no, he's just a friend. He's cool. And I should have listened to Shinji. So there's a lesson to me. Shinji's right when I'm not right that 1% of the time. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's That was an interesting story. So like did that kind of like mess you up afterwards? I feel like that would just I would not a trust anything. Bit. Yeah, I deleted a lot of my moments uh -huh. um cuz I was just nervous and I actually got off of HelloTalk for a pretty long time. I just recently started using it again for for Korean um, stuff, yeah. Yeah, and then I I changed my name on um Twitch as well. Um and I I like put my Facebook on extra, extra, extra private. Right. Um, but I don't know. As far as I know, he hasn't found me on anything. That's not to say he can't be one of my followers on Twitch, and I don't know, because I guess he could be. <laughs> yeah. Um, but plot twist. It was <laughs> just, it just, 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 it was just me the whole time. It's me. <laughs> you like pull. Can up you on hear? That. Can you hear my? Can you hear my Osaka dialect? When I'm speaking to you, <laughs> I don't know. It's like yeah, sometimes, was... like we were always kind of like warned as kids, like be careful on who you meet online. But then, like you meet someone like someone like that, right? But you also meet someone like Shinji, so it's just like right. The it's just a, it's just different. it's just it's just like a. Sometimes you just can't really pick it up. You know, yeah. Well, and I think I think dating apps nowadays, like when I was in high school, was not that common. But mm -hmm. like now, it's just so much more common. Like now, like people are using so much more, so ma so many more apps. Um, so like you just gotta be careful for that, you know. Yeah, uh, but I'm just gonna like from personal experience, I would just say like try to stay away from them as much as possible because I've had some pretty shitty experiences on dating apps too. Hmm. Yeah, people can be trash. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
So, but yeah, those are my Hello Talk stories. Pretty can, wild. Can you? Do you think you would would、uh, recommend the app for people that are learning? To be honest, yes, because I think I've had more good experiences with people than I've had bad experiences. Yeah. And usually, you can tell who the people who are gonna be creepy are. Like, you can just tell by the by、right. the moments that they post or by the way that they kind of act when they're talking to you.、Mm. You can usually like pinpoint like, hey, this guy's gonna be a creep, or hey, this girl's <laughs> gonna be weird. Like, you know, and and the reporting feature on Hello Talk has gotten a lot better. So it's like. All right. You know, you can start like if the guy's messaging you, right, and he says something creepy, and you press report, you can select the messages that are inappropriate for them to review,、right. and then it blocks them for you, which is really nice.、Mm. Yeah, personally, like me, like I've only had like one bad. I didn't really use it that long, but I only had like one bad experience with it. But I know some people just use it at, for like a different, for different reasons. But if you're gonna, if you're like, if you really want to improve on like whatever language you're learning, I think Hello Talk is good. I mean, best way to learn is, especially now with like the whole COVID thing, it's hard to learn a language if you're not, you know, really there. So I think, I think apps like that could really help. I mean, as long as you're not trying to date someone, it's it's fine. And what you can also do is you can you don't have to use your real name, right? And you don't have to use your real picture. So like, yeah, you know, people will still so, message you.、Like a, Yeah, 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 yeah. People are there are really nice people on Hello Talk too. Yeah, I did not. I did not get a milf on Hello Talk. Do not do not advertise the app about me getting a milf from Hello Talk. Make a billboard. Don't make don't <laughs> don't be like, wow, I like milfs. I'm gonna download Hello Talk right now. If this guy、you、can get a milf, <laughs>、oh, come on, I'm not a milf hunter. You will see a bunch、oh. of people in the like with their bios, and they're like. Looking for an American girlfriend, or like looking for a <laughs> Japanese boyfriend. <laughs> like you'll see a lot of those too. Those people you should just steer clear of. They're ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, be careful. I think it's a good app. You guys should try it out if you guys are okay with with you know weird things happening here and there. I'm sure it just dif- just differs between people and、uh, difference between、uh, it just differs between you know users to users, but. It was pretty positive, positive for the most part. Just gotta be careful about who you talk to. <laughs> stay safe online, kids. Yeah, stay safe online, kids. But hey, thanks for hanging out, Micah Mochi.、Uh, do you have anything、I'm、else、ready. you want to say? Um, no, I'm good. I'm gonna go sleep, man. You gonna sleep? Yeah. Yeah. Go、um, mods, please shout out Micah Mochi. She is a streamer. I sing. She sings very well. And also plays a lot of phasmophobia,、Damn. and is a good friend of mine. Yeah, I said it. We're friends, but when the tier <laughs> one subs run out, we're not friends anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm <laughs> sub. I'm sub. I'm sub. <laughs> I'm sub to you. So just, just no. I'm sub to you too. Yeah. Let's not make any. Let's not make it weird. I mean. They- There's already,、uh, there's already that. Just, yeah, Mine that... has a crushy on Pulsey. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you for that, by the way. <laughs> that copy, it was a copy pasta. I promise. Uh huh. Just, just uh, yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out, Mike Emoji. I had a lot of fun、no、talking、problem. about Hello Talk.、Uh, <laughs> definitely want to hear people's story about Hello Talk. I want to talk to more people about Hello Talk. It'll be interesting. You'll have to post on Twitter about it so I can press no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go.、Uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. 